नमस्कार एवरीवन टुडे लेट अस स्टडी वर्चुअल वर्क प्रिंसिपल देयर आर टू मेथड्स ऑफ वर्चुअल वर्क वन इज वर्चुअल डिस्प्लेसमेंट मेथड एंड अनदर इज वर्चुअल फोर्स मेथड लेट अस स्टार्ट विद वर्चुअल डिस्प्लेसमेंट मेथड to understand virtual displacement method let us consider a lever this lever is experiencing forces capital p1 and forces capital p2 in the vertical direction now let us subject this lever to imaginary or virtual angular deformation delta phi due to application of delta phi as shown in the figure right end of the lever would deflect by delta triangle 2 and left end of the lever would deflect by delta triangle 1 according to principle of virtual work virtual work done by real forces moving through virtual displacements in the direction of applied forces is equal to zero or delta w is equal to p1 delta triangle 1 minus p2 delta triangle 2 equal to 0 that is p1 a1 delta phi minus p2 a2 delta phi is equal to 0 this can be again written as bracket start p1 a1 minus p2 a2 bracket close delta phi equal to 0 here delta phi is perfectly arbitrary so summation of terms inside the bracket should vanish that is p1 a1 equal to p2 a2 this gives us the equation of statics this equation of statics can also be arrived at if net moments about the pivotal point in this lever are taken equal to zero here it is <coughs> worth appreciating that virtual deformations delta triangle 1 and delta triangle 2 they have been subjected to the uh, the system they have not been realized by way of application of some forces for deformable bodies total virtual work consists of two terms external virtual work and internal virtual work and the summation of the two should be equal to zero delta we is the external virtual work and delta wi is the internal virtual work let us try to understand this using this case of a spring the massless spring is carrying a ball now let us consider that this ball is experiencing a real force capital t and let us subject this spring to virtual displacement delta tri due to application of real force capital p there develops a real reaction which acts on the ball in the upward direction f capital f here let us define delta wi equal to minus delta wie where delta wie is internal virtual work due to the external forces substituting in 1 we get delta we minus delta wie equal to 0 or delta we equal to delta wie now delta we which is the external virtual work is p delta triangle and the internal virtual work is f delta triangle so we have with us bracket start p minus f bracket close delta triangle equal to 0 since delta triangle is arbitrarily selected virtual or imaginary displacement the terms inside the bracket should vanish or p should be equal to f this establish establishes equations for static equilibrium now let us look at virtual force method again 
total virtual work is zero. Total virtual work <coughs> consists of external virtual work and internal virtual work. We are differentiating terms corresponding to virtual force method from terms of virtual displacement method by putting asterisk over the terms in the virtual force method. Again, let us consider a massless spring. This is attached to a ball. Now, here in this case, triangle is a real deflection and delta P is virtual force. Due to application of virtual force delta P on the ball, there is generation of virtual reaction delta F which acts in upward direction on the ball. Now, external virtual work delta W E asterisk can be written as delta P into triangle and internal virtual work delta W I asterisk can be written as minus delta F delta S P R where delta F <clears throat> is the virtual force and delta and triangle SPR is real deflection. Now, according to the principle of virtual work, delta W E asterisk should be equal to delta W I E asterisk or delta P into triangle should be equal to delta F into triangle SPR. Since delta P is equal to delta F, so this gives us the compatibility condition that delta, that triangle has to be equal to triangle SPR. Okay, now again let us focus on virtual force method. Here the basic principle is that the external virtual work should be equal to internal virtual work. In mathematical form, let us write it as delta P into triangle equal to summation of delta F into U, where delta P is virtual force. Triangle is real deflection in the system. Delta F is virtual reaction that develops inside the system due to application of virtual force delta P on the system. And U is the real deflection inside the system. Now, since delta P is virtual force, which we apply. So it is convenient to take delta P as unit virtual force. And then we can rewrite the mathematical formation as one into triangle equal to summation of P bar dot U, where triangle is real deformation at the point of interest and P bar is the virtual reaction that gets developed inside the body, inside the system due to application of unit virtual load at the point of interest. So you can see one is the virtual unit force. Triangle is real displacement of a point in the direction of the applied virtual unit force. P bar is virtual internal force in equilibrium with the virtual unit force, U is real internal displacement of a body. Let us try to see this for a truss. We know that deformation of a bar of length L of cross section A and experiencing force F is given by U equal to FL by AE. This we have derived earlier. According to principle of virtual work, one into triangle should be equal to summation I equal to one to N 
PI bar FI LI divided by AI EI, where one bar is unit virtual force, triangle is deflection in, uh, in the direction of uh, unit virtual force, PI is axial force in ith member due to, in, uh, due to unit virtual force, FI is force in ith member due to real loads, LI is length of the member, EI is area of cross section of the member, and EI is Young's modulus of elastic, elasticity of the member. Similarly for beams, principle of virtual work, force method can be written as one bar into triangle equal to integral from zero to L M bar capital M dx divided by EI, where one bar is unit virtual force, which is applied at the point where we want deflection to be calculated where delta is, uh, this triangle is the deformation uh, at the application of unit virtual force. M bar is moments uh, which get generated on the beam due to application of unit virtual load. Capital M is bending moment inside the beam due to application of real loads. It is worth appreciating here that d square v by dx square is equal to d theta by dx and angular deformation d theta can be written as m by ei dx. This is, and you can see that this m by ei dx is appearing in the expression of uh, mathematical expression of uh, uh, principle of virtual work when force method is applied on beams. Let us try to understand force method of virtual work using this example. So here we have a truss A, B, C. This truss is experiencing 3000 pounds of load at point B. Due to the application of 3000 points at point B, there are reactions at point A and point C. At point A, there is a vertical reaction of 1500 pounds and there is a horizontal reaction in negative direction of 2000 pounds. And at point C, there is a vertical reaction of 1500 pounds and there is a horizontal reaction of 2000 pounds. Also, we can see that member AB experiences, experiences a compressive load of 2500 pound and member BC experiences, uh, sorry, the member AB experiences tensile load of uh, 2500 pound and member BC experiences a compressive load of 2500 pound. Now what we will do is, we will remove all the external loads and reactions due to the external load. And now we will reconsider this bracket and apply unit virtual load at point B in the upward direction. Due to the application of unit virtual load at point B in the upward direction, there are reactions on uh, at points A and C. At point A, you can see there is a reaction of half pound in the vertical direction and two by three pound in the horizontal direction. Similarly, at point C, there is a horizontal reaction of two by three pound and vertical reaction of one by two pound. Now, <clears throat> This is the expression of force method of principle of virtual work. One bar 
into triangle equal to summation i equal to 1 to n pi bar fi li divided by ai ei here one bar is unit virtual load which we have applied at location b triangle is is the deflection at point b in this particular example we are interested in finding out how much would be the deflection at point b in the vertical direction due to application of 3000 pounds at point b in the vertical direction that is our aim pi bar is virtual reaction in ith member fi is actual load in the ith member li is length of the ith member ai is area of cross section of the ith member ei is young's modulus of elasticity of the material of ith member in this particular case n is 2 so we can see here that right hand side becomes minus eight double three triple zero plus five zero 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 divided by 30 into 10 to the power six this gives us triangle equal to minus 0 0.044 inch that means point b Point B gets deflected in the negative direction by 0 0.044 inches. Here it is worth noting that for member AB, P bar, P bar FL by A is minus 8.33 into 2500 into 60 by 0.15. And for member BC, P bar FL is minus 0.833 divided by 0.25 into 2500 into 60, which is minus 500000. Now let us try to find out vertical deflection of point B due to the shortening of member AB by 0.125 inches. Let us imagine that there is some mechanism by which length of member AB can be shortened by 0.125 inch. So here is the bracket again, and please see that member AB can be shortened by 0.125 inch. And due to this shortening of member AB, we want to find out how much would be deflection of point B in the vertical direction. Again, we will consider this diagram. And here we will apply again unit virtual load in the vertical direction at point B. And uh, we can from here find out that member AB would experience compressive load of minus 0.833 point, uh, minus 0.833 pound, and member BC would experience a tensile load of 0.833 pound. Now, applying the force method of principle of virtual work, we have one into triangle equal to minus 0.833 into minus 0.125 plus 0.833 multiplied by zero, that is 0 0.1042. So we have triangle equal to 0.1042 inches. That means if member AB is somehow shortened by 0.125 inches, then point B will experience a vertical deflection of 0.1042 inches.
Now let us try to find out the vertical deflection of point B due to drop in temperature of 120 degree Fahrenheit occurring in member BC. So again, let us consider this diagram. Here we have member BC and we have been told that member BC experiences drop in temperature by 120 degree Fahrenheit. So due to the drop in temperature by 120 degree Fahrenheit, member BC would experience shortening in length. So here coefficient of thermal expansion of the material has been given as 6.5 into 10 to the power minus 6 inch per Fahrenheit. And the thermal contraction of member BC would be minus 6.5 5 into 10 to the power minus 6 into 120 into 60, where 60 is the length of member BC, 120 is the drop in temperature in Fahrenheit, and uh, 6.5 into 10 to the power minus 6 is the coefficient of thermal expansion. Now again, substitute it in the expression of principle of virtual work. We have 1 into triangle equal to minus 0 0.833 into 0 0.0468 where minus 0.833 is virtual uh, this 0.833 is A virtual tensile load in member BC due to application of virtual unit load at point one. And minus 0 0.0468 is thermal contraction of member BC. So from here, we get triangle equal to minus 0 0.0390 inches. That means if member BC experiences drop in temperature by 120 degree Fahrenheit, then point B would experience deflection in negative direction by 0 0.0390 inches. Now, <clears throat> let us try to uh, apply principle of virtual work on a cantilevered beam. We have a cantilevered beam on the screen. This cantilevered beam is experiencing a uniformly, low, uh, uniformly varying load. On the right hand side, the load is zero and on the extreme left side, the load is W naught. And at any location at distance X from right hand side of this cantilevered beam, the load is W naught X by L. We want to find out now in this particular case, how much would be the deflection of point that is lying exactly in the middle of this cantilevered beam in vertical direction. We want to find out deflection of point in this cantilevered beam exactly at mid of this cantilevered beam in the vertical direction. So for this, what we will do is first of all, we will remove the loads from this cantilevered beam and we will apply unit virtual load exactly at mid of this cantilevered beam in the vertical direction. Due to application of this unit virtual load, there will be uh, virtual bending moments in which will get generated in this cantilevered beam. Here in front of our screen, we are seeing bending moment diagram, which uh, uh, which get uh, bending moment diagram corresponding to the application of unit virtual load. This cantilevered beam is also experiencing real loads. Due to real loads, it will, the cantilevered beam would experience bending moment capital M given by minus X by two into W naught X by L into X by three, that is minus W naught X cubed by L. 
for all the points uh, in the cantilevered beam which lie between x equal to 0 and x equal to L by 2, virtual bending moment would be 0 and the virtual bending moment m bar would be equal to minus bracket start x minus L bar 2 bracket close for all the points that lie between x equal to L by 2 and x equal to L. Now we will apply this uh, these uh, values of m bar and capital M in the expression of uh, force method of principle of virtual work. That gives us one into triangle that is integration from zero to L of M bar capital M divided by EI into DX. Where M bar we have already derived as minus bracket start X minus L by two bracket close for L by two less than or equal to X less than or equal to L and capital M is equal to minus W naught X cubed by L over the entire beam. Now let us substitute values of M bar and capital M in the, in the expression of principle of virtual work and integrate it. So after integrating uh, this definite integral, we find that triangle is equal to 49 W naught L4 by 3840 EI, where this triangle is now the deflection in vertical direction of point in the cantilever beam, which is lying exactly in the middle of the cantilever beam at x equal to L by 2.